Okay, so now that the election is over, let's talk about voter suppression for people of color. And this is my encounter, my personal encounter that I encountered yesterday that I've never encountered before. So I've been able to vote for the past four years that I got my voting right restored. And I go to the same location. I live in a very, very well neighborhood. Um, it is predominantly and I've always been going to the same location. Me and my neighbor go, me and my other neighbor go, we always go, we see each other. So just so happened, me and my neighbor had pulled up there together. Um, we both go inside at the same exact time. She give them her driver license, I give them my driver license. They tell me in that same process that I'm not able to vote at that location anymore. The voting location is literally 2.5 minutes away from my house. Y'all, when I tell y'all they had me go out literally 20 minutes from where I live to go vote, 20 minutes y'all i had to drive out from my area to go vote and like i was saying y'all what if i would have been walking what if i would have been a person that had to catch the bus to go vote what if i would have been a person that didn't have enough gas to drive 20 minutes out to go vote in another location and i don't even know why it was changed they don't even know it was changed because they don't even know either they're just going by what was put in the system and it's like how did the system move me but not move my neighbor I, I just think that's just a uh, act of voter suppression when they seen that I was a person of color. Um, I I still ended up voting, y'all. And I know my vote counted, but why do I have to go through so much just to vote? Or why do we have to go through so much just to vote? That's it, y'all.